Tonight, police want to know who undid a water pipe inside a Chelsea apartment complex, forcing an evacuation overnight. WBZ's Paul Burton takes a closer look. Water flowing down from the top all the way down to the bottom. The more you open the door, the more the water is just coming in. So, you know, I shut the door and the water was like about up to here, past my ankle. Residents in this Chelsea apartment building on Broadway say it was about 3 a.m. when all of a sudden they heard the sound of rushing water coming into their homes. And I heard like a big pop. And I heard shh. When we arrived on scene, we had water pouring through both elevator shafts into the lobby, a uh, large amount of water. When firefighters first arrived, they thought there was a fire on the sixth floor, but when they got up here, they realized someone had released the valve on the standpipe, and this is where all the water started gushing out. It was definitely done maliciously. Somebody opened it up. The building has surveillance cameras and believe it may have captured the people involved. There was some type of disturbance, a fight out in the hallway, and right after that, the fire alarm system activated. You can tell the level of the water. The water ran for about 10 minutes. A total of six floors were damaged. More than 150 residents had to evacuate in the middle of the night. As we're climbing down, this lady runs into the water because her mother's on the other end, and she falls and bangs her head. On Saturday, work crews were busy cleaning up the mess, and residents were allowed back in. What do you say to the people that did this? God forbid, and may they get punished for what they did do to everybody in this building. You. Fire investigators say they plan to take a look at that surveillance video to see who's responsible for releasing all that water. There's about $400,000 worth of damage, and two people were taken to the hospital. In Chelsea, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.